Three Minute Epiphany. Six Music. Hi, Mary Ann. This is Julian Temple, who made a film about the Sex Pistols this year, my eighth one, and uh, you were asking me what it's like to hang out with them on Christmas Day and Boxing Day. <laughs> You've had your Queen's speech, now you're going to get the pistols at Christmas. Enjoy. So, Christmas with the Sex Pistols was built around the last two gigs the band played in the UK on Christmas Day 1977 for the striking firemen of Huddersfield, children really, who'd been on strike for a long time and had no hope for Christmas. This was at that time were banned as well, you know, they were literally couldn't play in London, they couldn't play in many cities across the country, so the fact that the firemen could offer the pistol to gig made it a good thing for both of them. It's very strange to see the most notorious band of the time playing to seven and eight year old kids. It was like joining the Marines or something. It was, a, it was quite a hardcore experience. It was very intense, very extreme, charged atmosphere, you know. I think there was a lot of, I wouldn't call it love, but, uh, you know, a lot of respect and affection. But there was also a lot of pressures and explosive tensions. So they weren't the easiest band to film, I wouldn't think. They didn't like being filmed. But I knew it was worth doing. However much it took to get it, it was worth it, you know because they were saying something that hadn't been said before and they were saying it with incredible honesty and anger and righteousness at the time. And that's why they're still kind of relevant today because no one's really gone beyond that in terms of intensity. We have changed incredibly when you look at this Christmas day back then, you know, through Pistolian eyes. It's an interesting trip to take. And they all have their own take. Steve Jones hates it because he was abandoned on Christmas Day by his parents. John Lydon loves it because he was allowed to um, drink baby sham and stuff and put on the records on Christmas Day when his parents were too drunk to operate the record machine. You know, Johnny Rotten was a character that John Lydon played, you know, to an extent. You know, people might be surprised the way I used to direct Sid Vicious was have a bag of sweets. You know, if I wanted him to do something, I'd give him a sweet, but which was weird. People don't think of Sid working for sweets. Well, yeah, he did. The risks they took, the way they put everything on the line, they, they were not scared of anything. They were consumed by the sense of being able to connect to people exactly on their own terms saying what they had to say saying real truth whereas today you know to reach a wide audience you've got to dumb yourself down you know to be successful you've got to be stupid there's a lot of good music out there but it's hard for it to connect because the world is so broken up and pigeonholed into little things on the internet that, that people don't come together in the same way that punk took the whole country all the kids in England at that time were uh, somehow in league with the Sex Pistols and, and that doesn't seem to happen anymore. They, they were scared of it so they didn't like it happening and, and maybe they'd stopped it, you know, happening ever again. But uh, it would be good if it did. No fun. This is no fun. No fun. It is no fun at all. No fun. Ever get the feeling you've been cheated? Good night. <laughs>